the major markets began the first unofficial week of summer with green across the board. The greatest gains were in the Dow Jones, along with the MSCI World Index, as the Nasdaq Composite was the lowest performer for the first time in recent memory. The value side of the style box continued to outperform its growth peers at a capitalization level. But unlike the week prior, last week's top performing style box was mid-cap value. The gains were fueled by positive commentary from CEOs of a number of banks, which helped the financial sector to be the top performer for the week. Financials had been one of the hardest hit areas of the domestic market year to date, along with industrials, real estate, and utilities, which all saw significant gains last week. In the end, all 11 sectors closed the shortened trading week higher. Markets climbed the wall of worry last week as every day was filled with tumultuous headlines from across the country. Protests and subsequent riots over the death of George Floyd at the hands of a Minneapolis police officer have traveled far beyond the Minnesota borders. This has led to curfews being declared in dozens of cities nationwide. This of course has all taken place within the fallout of the COVID-19 pandemic. Geopolitical tensions also increased last week as President Trump announced that the U.S. would be terminating its relationship with the World Health Organization and that he would move to revoke the special trade privileges with Hong Kong given China's recent steps to impose Chinese security laws over the standalone region. Lastly, the Trump Twitter feud reached new heights when the social media giant decided to label one tweet as misleading and another as glorifying violence. This served as the final straw for the president leading to an executive order on Thursday that calls for revisions to Section 230 of the Communications Decency Act. This could have significant impact to social media companies, as up until now, they have largely avoided liability for users' defamatory or problematic posts due to being viewed as a platform. However, Twitter's actions of adding labels to the president's tweets could be argued as stepping beyond serving as a platform and operating as a publisher, which could cause the company to face liability. This news weighed on the communication sector and ultimately the overall market, is Thursday reflected the only down day for the holiday shortened trading week.